afternoon baseball here on the show. Today we've got a good matchup in store between the Atlanta Braves and the Philadelphia Phillies. Stay tuned for Phillies baseball next. Assignment for the Phillies. And please, Zach, what do you got? Hey, every team needs a pitcher like this one here. His numbers aren't going to blow you away. Career ERA just under four. But one thing he does, he takes the ball every five days, throws strikes, and gives his team a chance to win every single time he goes out there. He'll be fun to watch in this one here today. Striding in. And we are ready for some daytime baseball. In there, and it's 0-1. First pitch, 105. Now here's the pitch. Nope. Did he go around? No, he did not. Ball two. Fastball is looked at for strike two. Into the windup, here comes the 2 2 pitch. Oh, and a big curveball swung on and missed, and the leadoff man is retired to start out the game. On the mound, he's thinking, grab some pine, Rook. Listen, for almost everyone, the adjustment to hitting big league pitching is a big one. Some guys have success when they first get called up, but as soon as teams start figuring out how to get you out, that's when the learning process really starts. And that'll bring in the former top prospect, Ozzy Albies. As he'll take a look at ball one. His past line against Aaron Nola. He's got two hits in 30 at bats. One out, nobody on. Fouled off. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Hit hard on the ground a second. He's got it. And there are two away now. That is third. The first baseman, number five. Freddy Freeman. So bases are empty here with two gone. And that brings in Freddie Freeman. First delivery to him on the way. recognition right there on the part of the hitter not many guys lay off that one that was a classic strikeout pitch the 0 2 good change up with some depth two out nobody on now a fastball swung on and missed and that is out number three down in order go the break so now the Phillies offense will see what they can do no score
misses off the plate. Three and oh now. Pitch on the way. And he gets the call there, three and one. And he takes ball four. So the leadoff man is on here in the home half of the first in a scoreless ball game. As if things aren't tough enough here playing in this hostile environment, he walks the leadoff hitter in. Oh, yeah, he's a threat to run every time he gets on base. Not the way he wanted to start this out. Digging in, Gene Segura. He'll get to take his first cuts here. From the belt, the pitch. High in the air out towards shallow right. Acuna's there for it. One down. Batting third. The center fielder. With it, John. Standing in, Mark Withenshaw, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. From the stretch. Good speed at first and good speed with a guy at the dish. Going to be tough to double up these guys. If you're an infielder, you got to get rid of it quick. Hernandez leads off first with one away. him up and he'll put this one away in foul territory for the second out and Bryce Harper will dig into the plate he takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away Stretch. Here's the pitch. And there are the umpires assigned to this one. Balls and strikes belong to Mr. Jerry Hillsdale. Dero, Jerry Hillsdale might be one of the more solid everyday umpires in the league right now. Yeah, I think he's one of the best in the business, Dan. High praise all around. You go into both meetings with the managers, and what do they do? They rave about Jerry Hillsdale. Pitch out. Nothing doing. Runner on first with two away. Three and one. He's having a really hard time finding his rhythm and finding the strike zone. It's going to allow this offense to keyhole him in big situations. He's got to figure it out pretty quick. Gonzalez, a Minnesota twin, he was signed as a free agent in the middle of last season. Yeah, I know he expected to get a longer-term deal, but these are the facts right now. He is on a one-year deal, and he is going to have to produce if he is going to get that multi-year he's been looking for. Come on. It's 2-0 to Marlon Gonzalez.
low, and the plot thickens here. Three and zero. Oh. Got a good spot to be in right now. Pitcher's falling behind in the count with a guy up that hits really well with runners in scoring position. He set the 3 0 offering and he misses again. Ball four. And that's back to back guys now that have reached base via the base on ball. I think he's trying to be a little too fine there. A walk is the result. Well, the good news is he has a force at every base. The bad news? The single probably drives in a couple of runs. So the bases are loaded here. Two men gone. And that'll bring up the former National League MVP, Andrew McCutcheon. Trying to hang a zero. Here's the pitch. One over. Perfect time for a mound visit right here. Just give him a breather, a chance to collect himself and get back to work. Ready with the 1-0. Sinker stays outside and is behind now 2-0. This is a spot you really don't want to be in with a great hitter like that. You can't just lay one in there, but you also don't want to run the count to 3-0. Hit the other way out toward right field. And that ball gets down out near the wall and should be extra bases. Now it's cut off. The throw to the plate. And he's safe. Not the way you want to start the game as a pitcher. He dug his own grave a little bit. Loading the bases there. And he had no chance to get the full strike. Well, that's what you get when you start to move one over the plate. It's a bases clearing double. And now he's down 3-0. The bat will be Reese Hoskins as he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. Runner in scoring position with two guns. Oh and one, here it comes. Hit in the air down the right field line. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. to the left side. Swanson brings it in. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. So they pick up three runs on just one lone hit. No errors, and a runner left on. One inning in the books here. Philadelphia is on top, three to nothing. Second inning set to go, and next will be a speed threat in the form of outfielder Ronald Acuna. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. They'll start him with a breaking ball. Too low that time. It's ball one. Love the early lead, but this game is far from over. Got to stay on top of what you're trying to do out there and execute pitches. The 1 0. -oh. It's taken for ball two. It's a lot easier to hit when you're putting yourself in good hitter's counts. This guy's done a great job not swinging at pitcher's pitches. And when he's getting the ball in his own, he's getting the barrel to it. He's been hot lately. Too high. And it's 3-0. and oh. And obviously, this guy's a double threat up there. He can run, and he can go yard, too. You don't want to walk him because he might steal a base on you. But you don't want to groove a fastball either because he can take you out of the yard. Into the corner and slicing foul. This is for ball four, so it's a leadoff walk here to start the second. That is not the way he wanted to start off this happening. It's one thing to walk the leadoff hitter, but it's even more painful when the leadoff hitter is an absolute burner, and he can really wreak some havoc on the bases. Standing in, Marcelo Zuna. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. That's a great call right there. Fastball away with a guy who's got some jets on first base. Almost like a hybrid pitch out. Great for a catcher if that guy's running. Easy transfer to throw to second base. Ball and strike. That's 
not a pitch he misses very often. He knows he should have done something with that one. Nobody out running on first. He's running. A pitch out. The throw. On oh, a time to pitch out as he'll be thrown out easily in second. Wow, that's a big time throw right there. It's a tall task to throw him out stealing it back. But he got rid of it quickly, and it was a good job down there of applying a quick tag. They'll have to feel good about that one. Three balls and a strike to the Braves' left fielder. Well, it's a pretty well-known fact that your batting average goes up as you get into more favorable hitters' counts, and that's especially true when we're talking about this kind of hitter. Not a great spot to be in if you're the pitcher. Pitch home. And this is pop foul, but perhaps playable behind first. But no one can get to this one as it's down for a foul ball inside the visitor's bullpen. Payoff pitch one more time. It's the top of the zone. He struck him out looking. Every pitcher looks to get off to a good start. I'd say he's off to a good start. How about the first five batters he's faced? Three of them he sent down via the strikeout. Next will be Dansby Swanson digging in. And there's a swing and a miss at an off-speed pitch to start him out. Nothing in one. And one fastball here, not close, and it's one and one now. Speed here as this pitch misses. It's two and one. The pitch popped up, and this will not be caught. It's a foul ball. Uh, two two doesn't get the zone. Count full now. Wow, talk about a waste pitch on two and two. That one wasn't even close. I don't know anyone that would have swung at that pitch. Now the three and two pitch. Line drive, and that's a base hit in the center field. So he wins the full count battle and finds a way to extend the inning. Well, I'm shocked he even pulled the trigger on that pitch. He might have been fooled right there, but he was able to keep his hands back and scramble a good pitch for a base hit. Safely. So here's Johan Camargo as he takes a cold strike on the black. It's 0-1. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. Crushed it, just pulled it a little foul. Camargo has a history in coming through in the clutch moments, of course. It's always a little bit of a debate whether or not being clutch is actually a trait that a player possesses. But with him, there's no denying. We've seen him deliver in big moments repeatedly throughout his career. It just seems he elevates his game somehow when the pressure is on. Yeah, Matty, he has definitely put that debate to rest. He has absolute ice water in his hands. And on 0-2, he misses with the fastball. 34 pitches for him through an inning and two-thirds right now. That's not terrible, but it's a lot higher than he'd like. Two out with the man at first. Fouled away. And he fouls this one off. Here's another one, too. Full count. Three 
good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. He's ready. Now the payoff pitch. And he'll get to see another one. It'll be the tenth pitch of this at bat. It very well to right. This one's hammered and it's going to go. That one is gone. A two run blast to straight away right field. And the Braves have made this a three to two game now. Well, they were a lot more comfortable up three than they are now, only up by one. That just goes to show you one pitch, one two-run shot, and the entire complexion of a game can change just like that. At the plate, number 25. One swings and grounds it toward the hole. And that'll get on through into right field for a base hit. I can't tell you guys how fired up Bobby Cox used to get in the eight ball hitter. He would get a knock. And I would know that point because I bat him. Standing in now, Max Freed. So take a look at the pitch too low. It's ball one. Hey, I know the tying runs at first right here, but if the pitcher on the mound executes, keeps the ball in play, I think good things are going to happen. Runner on first with two away. That misses 2 0. Oh. My bet is he's getting the take sign now on 2 0. Oh. If he's having a hard time throwing strikes to the pitcher, you might as well let him work himself into trouble. As a look, now the pitch. Well, somebody's sitting off speed right here. Only way he was laid on that heater is he was expecting another change. He's set and the 2 1 pitch. Left side, but well fouled. Two out with the man at first. Got him looking, and that ends the inning. Two in the inning for Atlanta, both coming on this two-run home run. We'll go to the bottom of the second. It's the Phillies three and the Braves two. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And now it will be the catcher, Omar Narvaez. Here's the first pitch to him. A ball with no strikes. First two pitches off the mark here, it's 2-0. Oh. It's one thing to get hit around, but it's far worse when you're getting yourself into trouble by not throwing strikes. Every pitcher's been there, but it doesn't make it any less frustrating or unacceptable. And that's taken for a strike on the inside corner, 2-1. And, and he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind 3-1 been a great job so far by the eight hole hitter. If he finds a way to get on base, this could spell for a huge end. Full count now. Three and two. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. And he takes ball four. Lead off man's aboard here to begin the home half of the second. That lead off walk is a great way to start this inning when you're looking to pad the lead. Could be the beginning of good things here in this half inning. Aaron Nolan steps up to the plate in a sacrifice situation. So let's see if that is indeed on right here. First offering on its way. Now a bunt attempt here. To second for one. And the relay won't nearly be in time as he's there easily. Uh, he got the bunt down, but he didn't deaden it enough. Really good job by the first baseman to charge in and make a good throw to second to get the lead runner. So striding forward now, Cesar Hernandez. No official.
Mitchell that bat for him, but he has scored a run in this one. Comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Can't come out of his game plan right here. He knows he's a known sinker baller. I know it was a four seamer right there, but get back to that two seam. It's what his MO is. A ball and a strike to the Phillies' leadoff man. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. There's a swing and a ball lifted to left, but back in the seats, out of play. It's one and two. Tried to shoot the corner and he missed it. Two and two. Runners on first with one down. Started to go. Did he hold up in time? Yes, says the first base umpire. It's ball three now. Full count. Here it comes. Swing. High drive. Left field and deep. He leaps, but he can't get it. It's down for extra bases. Oh, and he has some trouble with it. Well, he almost made a heck of a play in left. Yeah, man, if you can't pull the left fielder there, you see he makes a tremendous effort, but he just can't pull it in, and it gets past him for an extra base hit. Like the effort, though. Gene Segura standing in. As he takes a bold strike at the knees, it's 0-1. 0 for 1 here in the early going. He's ready. Here's the 0-1. Drops to the hitter right there for laying off with a guy on third. You want to be aggressive, but you have to get a pitch you can drive. That nibble the corner there, but missed. Two and one. Hey, lots of guys get too aggressive in a spot like this, but he's done a nice job of gaining some count leverage. Look for him to put the ball and play hard. And the knees for a called strike, and it's back to even at two and two. Popped up. Green makes a charge, and he's got it. Two down. Now better, better fielder, Mark Whippenjaw. Digging in now for Philadelphia, Mark Whippenjaw. His last at-bat didn't go his way as he popped out in foul territory. Yeah, Matt, he's got to make an adjustment right here. His swing definitely broke down, dropped his back shoulder, and thus the result was a terrible pop. Oh. Now fastball, a bit too low here, it's ball one. Well behind that fastball, it's a swinging strike. Check swing, no swing, says the home plate umpire, ball two. Pitch is piling up 44 and he's not clear of the second yet. Grounder down the line at third, but this will wind up a foul ball. Two and two. Two and two, here it is. There's one that misses inside and the count's run full now. Three and two. Definitely in a tough situation facing the three hitter. You can work around him and maybe walk him below the bases, but that just sets up the cleanup guy with the bases loaded. He loses him on ball four. 
Yeah, the pitching coach would hate to go to the bullpen this early in the game, but sometimes you have no choice. On the flip side, he might just get in his face a little bit out there, try to challenge him, wake him up from his funk. Either way, we'll see how it works. Felix Hernandez enters from the bench in just the second inning, so they'll hope to get some length out of him and have him stay out there for a while. Bryce Harper will be the first one to greet him, and he'll bat in a big spot here. Bases loaded and two out in the inning. Hernandez comes set. Here it comes. Here's the first pitch curveball trying to come back to the outside corner. Didn't get it that time. It's ball one. Here's the 1 0. -oh. High in the air and drifting out to shallow center. Swanson is there. He's got it, and that'll get him out of the jam. The Phillies leave him loaded. They're up 3 to 2. Things here against Aaron Nola. First pitch on its way. Right there for strike one. A ball and a strike now to the Atlanta leadoff man. One one home. Fouled off. to send him packing for the second time. Right back at him and off his glove. The recovery throw is not in time and that'll go down as a painful single. The second baseman, Augie. Jared Eikhoff makes his way toward the mound now as he'll clear his sixth ball game of the spring. Steps Ozzy Albies as the first pitch misses to him. It's ball one. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Here's a look over the first. Just keeping him close. Third inning. Already a 3 2 ball game. These were the one and one count now. It's not easy to get your barrel to a pitch that high. That can be an effective location as long as he keeps it above the letters. In the dirt here, runner holds as the count moves to two and one. From the belt, kicks and deals. Lifted down the line and left. After it is McCutcheon. He gets there and makes the play for the first down. Now back the first base. Ready. Freeman. Stepping in. Freddie Freeman looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Yeah, here it comes. And they pitch out here, but nothing's going on. Sent on the ground out to second. Segura for one. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. 
Braves go down without a whimper here. They trail 3-2. something good to hit but unless you're sitting breaking ball right there I don't care if it's middle of the plate that's a tough pitch to pull the trigger protecting with two strikes went out of the zone that time but he stays alive inside as he might be trying to set him up here one and two Sinking fastball didn't sink, it stayed high. 2-2. Two -two. Ground ball right into the ship. Albies brings it in, throws in time, and that's out number one. Now back, left fielder, so the next hitter to dig in will be Andrew McCutcheon. It was a bases clearing double for him his first time up. Well, he got a good pitch to hit last time up. Looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. Those are the pitches you only get. Maybe once an A-B, maybe once a game, maybe once a week. So he certainly capitalized on it last time. The wind up and the 1-0 pitch. Pitch misses in the dirt, and it's 2-0 now. Hey, after the double in his first at bat, looks like he's trying to pitch around this guy a little bit. Right side, but it's going to be a foul ball. Bases are empty, one man out. Ball hit out to Albies at second base. Reined in on to Freeman at first, and there are two away now. Now to the plate, Reese Hoskins. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Pitch of the at bat on its way. The 1 0. It's looked at for ball number two. Most good pitchers know that they have to work inside and sometimes even come off the plate to keep hitters from getting comfortable up there. I think that was part of the intent with that last pitch. Mm, pretty good cut there, but it's to two and one now. In my opinion, one of the toughest pitches in the game to square up. Just a heavy sinker with good downward action. But that finds its way through for a base hit. Going for it, the right call. He's in at second base with a two-out double. Now that the catcher. Oh, oh. Good. oh yeah. To the plate now, Omar Narvaez. As the first pitch sinker misses to him, it's ball one. Reached base via the walk in his first plate appearance. One and oh, here it is. Now some action in the Braves bullpen as they'll stand up a right-hander to get loose. The 
set and the 1-1. One -one. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. Hit on the ground toward the left. Swanson scoops it up. And the off-balance throw is right there for the third out. And a high degree of difficulty on that one as the side is retired. Danger averted following the two-out double. More spring training baseball from Florida following this. Vince Velasquez will come on down and take the ball for the fourth time this spring. And here's Ronald Acuna Jr. now. He'll lead it off against Vince Velasquez. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. And, and now a curveball that bounces up to the plate. It's 1-1. One and one. Uh, And that fastball is too much for him there. 1-2. and two. I think it's safe to say he wasn't ready for the fastball. Wow, was he behind that fastball. Great job on the mound using the curveball to set up the heater. And they could go either way now, I suppose. Even count, two balls and two strikes. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. Grounded up. Oh, and it's off the first base bag. Good hustle to get over and tag him for the out. Sometimes for a first baseman, the best thing you do is just go ahead and tag the guy like that. Hey, there's a lot more that can go wrong when you try to throw to the pitcher or the second baseman covering. Digging in to try it again, Marcelo Zuna. He'll look to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Ready with the first pitch, here it comes. Heading out towards shallow right. Harper has a read on it. And that's the second out of the inning. The batter, number seven, shortstop, Dansby. At the plate, Dansby Swanson. He singled and scored in his first appearance in this one. Now here's the pitch. Wind up and the 0-1. And this misses the outside corner, so it's knotted up at one and one. And that misses two and one. We're in the fourth. Three to two is our score. Lifted in the air toward the line and right. But this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. And this pitch is lined softly down the line and left. Foul. Purple locks him up strike three, and that's the third out. Braves are set down one, two, three. Still a three two ball game. Anderson is on and he'll take over on the mound in relief. Number 19, Ian Anderson. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And next will be the pitcher, Vince Velasquez. Here comes the first pitch. Now the 1-0. Oh.
that ball through. You certainly know he's not trying to work around the pitcher. Sometimes the hardest thing to do is to throw a strike to a guy that you know won't swing the bat. Swinging a soft liner. And that is through into center. The base hit and the opposing pitcher gets the board to kick off the inning. Hey, this is perfect storm right here. This is how big inning start. You could have put the number on And now, Cesar Hernandez as the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. It was a two-bagger for him in his last at bat. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. Lifted down the line and left. Ozuna on the run. And they can't run it down. Two home. Hits are now even at four apiece. Ian under the hands with a fastball. It's one and two. Now the pitch. And the pitch takes off inside and gets away. And a bad time for that as the runner takes second here. Well, when you throw a breaking ball in the dirt, that's the danger. You have to trust your catcher, but this one skips away, and the open base takes the double opportunity away with it. Might prove to be costly. Strike three, and there's the first out of the inning. So a lot of report at second here, one away. And that will bring in the middle infielder, Gene Segura. From the stretch. Outside, that's the ball. Three runs, four hits, and no errors on the ledger for the Phillies to this point. Can't sit back long enough, and the count evens up at one and one. He got the fastball where he wanted and just pulled off. One one home. It was offered at and missed. He chased it for strike two. I just think after seeing both those pitches right there, 96. You have to be on the fastball. You're not going to catch up. If you're sitting off speed, that fastball's going to blow right by you. And he popped him up. Coming on is Ozuna. And this will land foul. One out and a runner on second base. To two balls and two strikes now. Yeah, this guy's a grinder. Fouls off good pitches and doesn't seem to swing at the ones just off the corner. This guy's a pitcher's nightmare. Working for the punch out and the offering. Camargo picks it up cleanly. Throw gets him. Two down. Up next for Philadelphia. Stepping into the box, Mark Withenshaw comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. Delivery to him on the way. Too low with the curveball. One ball, no strikes. Swung on and missed. One and one. Even at one and one, the pitch. The drive out toward the gap in left center. In at second safely. As also on the play, a run comes across to score. This 
this thing rolls bad, I started thinking it might happen. Get out of here. Didn't quite carry enough, but it does one off the wall off the track and he cruises in the second with an RBI two bagger. You'll take that every day of the week. Next to dig in will be Bryce Harper. As he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. It was a fly out for him in his last trip. One out count, here it is. Low and away as he misses again, 2-0. Oh. Now yeah, you can see he's working around this guy right here, why not? First base is open, walk wouldn't be the worst thing in this spot. Now 2-0 home, outside, 3-0 oh now. There's absolutely no need to challenge him in this situation right here. Do yourself a favor, be smart, nibble a little bit, Maybe use his aggressiveness against himself. Taking all the way, and that's what you call a plausible strike there. It's 3-1 and one now. Stealing that strike on 3-0 was important, but you don't want to miss over the heart of the plate in this situation. I got to believe he's going to be way more aggressive right here. Swung on and missed, a full count now. Hey boys, you talking about getting your A swing off right here? That's what it looks like. A guy with massive power led with him. And a slider swung on and missed, and the side is retired. One for the Phillies here on the RBI double. We play four, and Philadelphia's taken a four to two lead. thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. Oh and won the count. Here it comes. And he takes strike two. I have to count all into Fastball swung on, missed to the first down. If you've got a good fastball going and they're not handling, keep throwing it. Right there, three fastballs in a row. He gone. Into the box, number 25. As he takes a fastball off the plate for a ball, 1-0. Runs, four hits, and no errors so far for Atlanta. Ball two now. Three and oh now. Well, he knows it, but this is the kind of guy you just have to go right after. He's not the biggest threat with a bat, so it's time to challenge him right here. Pitch. Holds off on the slider, and that's a good idea as it's ball four. The pitcher number 19. Yeah. Now at and late in Anderson. Anderson, first at bat of the game for him here in the fifth, as he was a late entrant into this one. Throw over to the bag, but the runners back easily. comes the first pitch wanting to avoid the double play here as he gets this one down 
only plays to first, so the pitcher does his job as it's a successful sacrifice. The center field for 12. Drew. Water. Stepping in for the Braves, Drew Water. They'll swing it from the left side right here. More of a comfortable side from the left side. Puts the ball in play. More of a contact hitter from the left side. Might have grown up being a natural left-handed hitter. One ball, no strikes to count. Four two our score here as we play inning number five. In for a strike, it's one and one. And Hoskins is there to make the catch. The inning is over. One left for Atlanta. They trail it here, four to two. Juki Toussaint is out from the bullpen here as we're making his fifth appearance this spring training. Set now for the bottom of the fifth, and set to go is the third baseman, Marwin Gonzalez. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Nope. And starting with a breaking ball, too low that time. It's ball one. Swung on, but fouled off to the left. Lifted the other way out to left. Ozuna is under it. One out. Now that the left fielder and three. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And that will bring up the former National League MVP Andrew McCutcheon. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. with the 0 2 this one's outside quite a bit off the plate that time one out nobody on got him big curveball from the strike out there and that came after an absolute missile of a fastball even if you recognize the breaking ball on the pitcher's hand it's so hard for hitters to sit back long enough after they've seen a really good fastball. Only the best can keep their hands back on those. And that will bring up the Sacramento product, Reese Hoskins. And he'll send a ground ball down to third. And just past his outstretched glove into left, the base hit. <laughs> Into the box now, Omar Narvaez, and it's fouled away. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Now the 0 1. Swinging strike, and now it's 0 and 2. When I broke into the league, not many guys were throwing that elevated fastball with that much velocity on it. The game has changed. Ready with the 0-2. 
Breaking ball below the zone. That's ball one. He didn't look overly fooled right there because a lot of pitchers will go to the breaking stuff 0-2, but he certainly looked ready for a breaker on that pitch. Runner on first with two away. Two balls and two strikes to the Phillies catcher. Man, this at bat has changed quickly from 0-2 now to 2-2. Two a good job of plate discipline by this hitter, not chasing those pitches just off the plate. Open to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. Well, this has been a good at bat. He's now worked the count for the three and two, and allows the runner on first to be on the move with two away. Pitch home. And a good at bat that time as he lays off for ball four. And as a result, that'll move the runner up into scoring position now with two away. Oh man, I think this walk is going to grind at him for a bit. He just missed, and now the inning continues with the man in scoring position. Number 26 will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. The 0 1 pitch. Hit hard to the right side, but foul. Two men are on with two men out. Changes up on him there, but it's one and two. Fastball well off the plate for a ball. This is a huge pitch right here. I don't think he wants to go 3-2 and have those runners be in motion. Look for him to be aggressive with what he thinks is his best pitch right now. 2-2. Uh, Out in front as this is pulled foul into the seats. Two down runners at first and second. And misses with that one down and in. It's a full count now, three and two. For the guy in the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. Now the three and two pitch. Popped him up. Number 25 over to his left. And that's the third out. Phillies leave a couple as they can't add to their 4-2 to two lead. Medina takes over to start the sixth inning on the mound. Another shot now, Ozzy Albies. He flew out in his last at bat. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Now some action in the Phillies bullpen as a right-hander begins to crank it up out there. He's ready. Here's the 0-1. Up. Catch is made on the mound, and that's the first down. Now back the first base. Freddie Green. So the leadoff man's gone, and that'll bring in the first baseman, Freddie Freeman. Pitch on the way. Fastball too high to start him out here, 1-0. Oh. Hey, this is a real pesky hitter right here. As a pitcher, you really like to keep this guy off the bases. This is a guy that kind of sets the tables for big innings. 
Ball and a strike now to the Braves first baseman. Two balls and a strike to Freeman. He's falling behind now, three and one. To be honest with you, I'm a little bit more afraid of the guy on deck than the guy that's up right now. If I'm on the mound, I want this guy up right now. He's the guy that's going to beat me. Lifted down the line and left. And that will end up a foul ball. 3-2 counts are usually a time to challenge the hitter, but I think he'll be careful here. Shoot for the corner, and if you miss and you walk him, so what? That's better than him putting one in the seats. And a fastball misses there, ball four. And I'm sure the manager is just fine with that. I mean, it's better to battle a slugger like that at the end and end up walking him than serving one up where he can really hurt them. So a runner at first now with one away, and that will bring up the always dangerous Ronald Acuna Jr. He's set and the pitch. Hey. one. hit the other way out toward right field. Harper is there to put it away and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. The left field is 23. Marcel Into the box now, Marcel Ozuna. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last A.B. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this A.B. Outside target here, and he hits it for strike one. Jumps on this one. It's high and deep to center. And off the batter's eye for a home run. An impressive shot to dead center field. Two-run shot to straightaway center as that'll pull him even at four apiece. That's one of those pitches you wish you could take back as soon as it leaves your hand. But guess what? There are no delete or rewind buttons in baseball. That's a mistake, and it was a good job by his opponent to make him pay for it. Dansby Swanson lining up to hit. Dansby. So take a look at ball one. One for two in the ball game thus far. A swing and a miss, one and one. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Hit on the ground to third. Throw in time and the side is retired. A two in the inning for Atlanta, both coming on this two-run home run. Bottom of the sixth coming up. All even now at four apiece. Bryce Wilson is out from the bullpen now as he'll work in his third game so far this spring. The inning now, and that will give way to the veteran second baseman, Cesar Hernandez. Here's the first pitch to him. And it's belted high and deep into right center. And that is off the wall. And the 
Phillies are able to get things started with a leadoff double. Oh, this is a great way to start the inning. Now the go-ahead run is on the second. Pace hit away from coming across. I know it's only the sixth inning, but you'd love to claim the lead right now and let your bullpen carry the load the rest of the way. And that'll bring up Gene Segura. He'll look at a fastball too high for ball one. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. Pitch on the way. Action in the bullpen now as the right hander begins to throw out there. Four four is our score as we play the sixth. Segura behind on a one and two count. Take a step back right here. After three fastballs in a row, there is no chance he throws you a fourth. Just a bit low, a tough call, but it's two and two. And he lays off, so it's full now, three and two. Not a time to fool around right now on a three-two count with the middle part of the order coming up. Expect a good pitch to swing it. the opposite way and that's going to get down out there hey just a nice piece of hitting right there he's able to keep his hands inside that ball stay square as long as possible and feed it into the abyss of hell for a base hit so now to the plate Mark Withenshaw as he'll look at a slider that runs in too far for ball one. A hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ballgame. Two and zero to the Phillies center fielder. Got to find a way to execute either a good fastball down the way or flip something off speed for a strike. You cannot miss over the heart of the plate in these situations. The hitter is on high alert. Ready with the 2 0 pitch. That's an impressive pitch right there. If you're willing to throw a changeup on 2 0, that tells me that's a pitch you feel really confident with. Away. Two and two count. Here's the pitch. Not Game close with that one. It's way above the strike zone. Trouble waiting on deck is Bryce Harper gets next. First and second here with nobody out. late on the fastball but he's able to spoil that one off and he'll get another chance you're lucky if you get one pitch a night right down the middle cannot be late on that fastball payoff pitch one more time now a ball lined to the left side foul eighth pitch of the at bat coming up The only battle for so long as he's finally set down here after an eight-pitch at-bat. So it's a tight spot here. First and second, one man out, and that will bring up Bryce Harper. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Nope. Fastball here as we'll take a look nope. at ball one. One, one and oh. This one off. First 
and second now, one man out. Down low, two balls and a strike. Two balls, one strike. Sent out to straightaway center field. Water is there, two gone. First pitch, here it comes. And a jam shot here as this is sent towards second. Albi scoops it up. On the first, he is in time. And the Phillies are turned away. They get nothing out of this situation as the inning is over. So it's no runs on two hits, no errors, and two men left stranded. We're through six full, and we are tied 4-4. Four -four. Mike Warren is on the pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 48. Digging in, Johan Camargo. A hit and two tries for him so far. Johan Camargo. Comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. And a fastball to start things out here. Not close. It's a ball and no strikes. That evens it up one and one. And now pitch on the way. Swung on and missed. One ball, two strikes. Two. Lifted down the line in left. He dives, but he can't make the catch. It's a foul ball. Hey, that fastball caught too much of the plate on an 0 2 count. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Just inside, not by much. It's two and two. Down low in the dirt, so he's working full now at three and two. Every base runner in a close game like this really matters, so you can't afford to be giving out free passes this late. And he lays off, ball four. Now the potential go ahead run is on base here. Man, when the game is tied, the last thing you can afford to do is walk the leadoff hitter. Got to focus on getting that ground ball now. Riding into the box, number 25. It was a walk in his last trip. First pitch of the at bat on its way. He's going to have to have a talk with the umpire after this half inning. And if he's not going to get those calls, he's got to come a little bit more over the heart of the plate. And that usually means damage. This one skied out toward right. Harper settle under it to make the play for the first down as the runner will have to head back to first. Now battle. Number 52. Josh Ray. Come on to pinch hit here in a big spot. For Atlanta. Number 22. Josh Ray. the ground is short. Could this be two? Hernandez at second. Relay to first in time. And just like that, the side is retired. We go quietly here in this half inning. Seventh inning stretch time here at the ballpark. And we are tied 4-4. Four -four. Michael Feliz gets the ball from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Michael Feliz. 
Nick Williams is up off the bench as he'll be asked to get something started in the home half of the seventh. Pitch just about saws him off as he can't get extended at all. That's strike one. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. Attempt that time as he broke the plane of the plate. It's a ball and two strikes now. And here's a slider. Strike three called, and that'll be the first out of the inning. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Reese Hoskins. So far, two for three in this one. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Nope, that's the ball. Set and the 1 0 pitch. Thickens here, three and zero. Oh. Well, I'll tell you from where I'm sitting, it looks like he's starting to rush his delivery out there. Someone needs to remind him to stay back and let his arm get out front. Here it comes, the three zero. Oh. He lays oh, off ball oh, four. Now the potential go-ahead run is on base here. And with the bases empty, you don't feel bad about walking that guy. He's capable of taking deep every time he digs in. So it's not the worst thing in the world to work around him if you can. Stepping up to the plate, Omar Narvaez. It was a walk in his last trip. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Fastball just misses. That's ball one. Possible go-ahead runs on first. One away. Slider stays outside and he falls behind 2 0. From the belt, kicks and deals. Outside, 3 0 now. Believes has some of the absolute best strikeout stuff in the game today, at least among bullpen arms. The strikeouts per nine is a number that's usually through the roof. This guy was tailor-made, Matty D, to be a relief pitcher. He comes out of the bullpen, guns are blazing. Two pitches that he can strike you out with, and more importantly, he comes out with an attitude, and that attitude is nasty, and he gets a lot of swings and misses. Rush that ball, and now perhaps needs to shorten up with two strikes. A three two picks. High in the air down the right field line. And a long run, but he gets there, and that's good range in the outfield as there are two gone. Now back, the Scott Kingery will look for some two-out magic here as he'll pinch hit with two gone and a runner at first. Way behind that pitch, it's 0-1.
He swung on and grounded out to Swanson at short. Over to Albies covering at second, and that'll do it. One left for Philadelphia. This game's all tied at four. Nick Williams remains in the game, batting eighth and manning left field. Now playing left field. Hector Neris has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Now pitching for the Phillies. Number two, Hector Neris. Ender Inciarte is going to be asked to get things going here as a lead off the top of the eighth. First pitch oh, back in here, and that's the first strike. And a fastball way off target here, and it's even at one. Drop one down, but he can't make contact. One and two. Hit hard, but foul to the left, and they'll try it again. Again, a one two. And a swing that time, but it's a full swing the guys of the umpire, and that'll be the first out of the game. Time now for our starter comparison, and that tells the story, as you can see, neither guy able to get past five innings. Number 86. Move into the on-deck circle now to try to get something started here with one gone in the inning. to loosen out in the bullpen now. We're in the eighth inning now of a four to four ball game. Got himself a 2-0 fastball there, but he couldn't connect two and one. Neris stands 6-2 and throws from the right side. He's in the midst of his eighth major league season. One pitch. That's where he played as a splitter that misses, so he's behind in the count now, three and one. Hey, they tried to tie him up on that last pitch, so I like that they went away with this one. The execution didn't work, but I like the idea behind it. Three and one pitch. And he lays off all four. Now the potential go ahead run is on base here. The first base is number five. Austin Riley come on to pinch hit here in a big spot. Number 27, Austin Riley. Ball one. Delivery and check on that go ahead run at first. He died, but he's back. No, 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 no. Mitch misses low. The throw down. And he can't hold on to the throw as it short hops him and eats him up. That's pretty savvy base running, right? A lot of pitchers don't throw over twice in a row, so I think he was going on first movement and it worked out nicely.
taken, but that catches the inside part of the plate. And the runner's breaking for third. Well hit to right, but foul. Go ahead, runs in scoring position here with one away. Swing and a miss, and he'll dodge a major bullet that time. Two away. Talk about blowing it by a guy. Jeez, I mean, that basketball was way behind him when the swing came through the zone. I have to think he was looking for something off speed, and he just couldn't pull the trigger on that basketball. Number nine. Two out, Thunder off the bench. And he'll hit with a runner in second and two away. And he swings through a fastball and doesn't catch up with it. It's 0-1. It's his job to get something into the outfield and give that go-ahead run a chance to score from second. Here's a late swing and a miss, strike two. Got to believe you're going to get some tough pitches in this count with the base open at first. This is where you have to regroup and find a way to get a good pitch to drive in that run. Here's the 0-2. Oh ball and two strikes. Neither guy willing to give in, and the at bat will continue. Here's the one two, and the inning goes away in unceremonious fashion on a swing and a miss at a ball way outside the strike zone. So, no runs here on no hits, no errors, and one man left on. Home half of the eighth, straight ahead. And we are tied 4-4. Ender Enciarte stays in the ball game batting number eight and takes over in center field. Number nine. Number nine will stay in the game, taking over in right and batting number nine. Number 11, Ender Enciarte. Chris Russell is on the pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Chris Russell. Now at second. Number 86. Now at first base. Number 27. Adam Duvall is in the game as well as he's the new first baseman. Number 24. Adam Duvall. Jack Lopez is also in the ball game now as he takes over at second. Zach Collins is up off the bench as he will pinch hit here in the bottom of the eighth in a tie ball game. Lifted the other way down the left field line. Ozuna on the run. And they can't run it down. There's a line drive. Base hit to left field. He takes the turn and heads for second. Go-ahead run is in at second base here with a leadoff double. Well, lefty on lefty, this is a tough matchup, but he stays in there, keeps that front shoulder close, and just rips the pitch for a two-bagger. Nice job of defying the odds there. Peter O'Brien is in the game as a defensive replacement now as he takes over O'Brien. Now play Townsend come off the bench now as he'll pinch hit with the runner at second and nobody out. And time will be called here as with the important go-ahead run at second base, they'll opt to go and get a little more speed out there. A ball and no strikes. In there, and it's even at one. Mm. 
fooled him with that one as he's way out in front. Go ahead, runs in scoring position here with nobody out. Bouncer to the left side. And a good throw gets him one gun. Number six will grab a bat and pinch it down. And he'll be looking for at least a fly ball as he's got a runner at third and only one away. Behind on that one, now behind in the count, 0-1. Kicks and deals. Shanker, and this one's over as well. Nothing in two now. Well, this is a dicey situation right here, Dee, where what the runner in scoring position, the sack fly, brings that run in. This is where you're going to really have to try to keep the ball on the ground as a pitcher. What do you want to do as a hitter, Dero? Yeah, right here, you are looking for anything above the belt. You see it up, you have to let it go. This is where you have to check your ego at the door. Something has to be elevated and put into the outfield. Give your team a chance to score a run. Swing and a fly ball. This ought to at least get the go-ahead running. Catch made in center. Here comes the runner from third. He saved at the play. And they've taken the lead here in the eighth. Hey, putting together a good at bats late in the game is going to really help out. And how about this sack fly right here? A good at bat that leads to his team getting the lead here in the late innings. Adam Rawlsy, the Oklahoma is a pinch hitter. Hit in the air down the right field line. Right fielder giving chase, but this will land untouched. Wind up and the 0-1. Lifted down the line and left. And no one will track it down. Bases are empty here with two men out. And a sinker there. Swung on and missed for out number three. So one run, one hit, no errors. And no one left on base. Ninth inning coming up. Phillies lead this one 5-4. Harvey Townsend will remain in the game in the eighth spot and take over at shortstop. Now playing right field. Number 11 stays in the ball game in the nine hole and takes over at second base. Now at shortstop, number 25, Number six is the new center fielder after coming on as a pinch hitter during the last half inning. Adam Paulson will stay in the game taking over in right field and batting in the eighth spot. David Robertson comes out of the bullpen to shut things down here in the night. Number 20 will pinch him here, and he's the potential tying run. Ninth inning underway now as the first pitch is taken for a full strike. Caveman swing in the club on that one. It's 0-2 now. Love that pitch. As long as you actually get it inside, like he did right there, the cutter inside is a very effective pitch. One ball and two strikes to count. Oh, and that runs in and 
gets it. So now the potential tying run is your board to lead off the inning. Well, well, well you never want the tying run on base, especially yeah. that way. It looked like he lost his release point, and the ball went inside until it caught him. Now we'll see if he can work around it. Number 14, come on to pinch it. Now with the runner at first and nobody out. Righty against righty as this is taken for a ball. It's 1-0. One, one run game here in the top of the ninth. And that's in there for a strike one and one. You rarely see a pitcher of this quality throw one right down the middle. And man, as a hitter, probably a good chance you're not going to see that pitch again. Quick check on that time. Run at first. And he'll get dirty, but he's back in safely. Swung on and heading for the stands in right, and that'll move the count to one and two now. Back in standing. A runner at first with no outs here. So two balls and two strikes now. And the slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. This would be an absolute terrible start to the end. After drilling the first guy, you can't allow the second guy to reach base via the ball. Still full, three and two. Boy, good cutting action in that field. That's the first down in the middle. Well, that's just a quality pitch right there. The location was excellent. That's a good play. Right? There's a good chance he's on the ground. You're on the plane. Hey, a strike on Corey's works, too. And the next in is Johan Camargo. As the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball, 1-0. Oh. From the belt, the pitch. Up around the letters with that one for ball two. Sent on the ground out the second. And that's by him in the right field for a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Now that you know, as a former infielder, Danny, they always say you can't be in two places at once, but you gotta be a little frustrated right here that ball found the ball. That's a tough thing to make a quality pitch, and the guy shoots one through the right side, normally a vacated spot right there. Nine out of ten times somebody's there to make that play. Unfortunately not, and now you've got a couple of guys on. At the plate, number 25. Back to first, a double play. And with that, the ball game is over. Hey, we were really treated for good for today. Bottom of the eighth proved to be a difference, though. Did a good job here in the ninth. Close the book on this one. A one-run finish today, 5-4, to four, the final score. The Phillips came through late, taking the lead in the eighth to secure the victory. Hector Neris is the winning pitcher of record. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Kuzak, Heidi Watton, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vasquez, and you've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com.